Hello everyone, this is Spencer from FS Elite, and today we are going to be talking about how to get the Phoenix A320 set up on your system. Installing this product is pretty simple. After purchasing, you will receive a download link for an installer, download it and run it like any other installer. After the installation is complete, it will ask you if you want to run the Phoenix SIM app. Click yes, and that will take you here. You're going to log in using the same credentials you created when purchasing. After that, you configure the product. Put in your Hoppy ACARS code, if you have one, and your SimBrief user ID, if you have one. Next up is display quality and render displays. The system by default recommends that you render the displays on your CPU, which while this is probably fine for those of you with new computers, I personally have an i7-7700K and I found that my CPU does not perform well doing the rendering. After spending some time fiddling around and benchmarking, I found that I got best performance using the integrated graphics on my CPU and setting display quality to performance. Individual results may vary. On the right is where you get your eye candy. Click the Phoenix Livery Manager to start getting some paint jobs on your aircraft. Here is a nifty system for you to be able to download any of the liveries that Phoenix provided to you. And they have provided a ton of options, 178 in total. Downloading is intuitive. Just click the button in the top right to download. For those of you with performance issues, there is a hidden option that might get you a few frames. The livery page defaults to 8K liveries, but there is a filter that you can change to get all of the same liveries in 4K resolution. Might be worth a shot. Phoenix also has created a custom SimBrief profile for you to use. This is customized specifically for their A320 and will help you get more accurate flight planning. To set this up, follow the link below and hit save aircraft. Next time you are doing flight planning, just select the Phoenix A320 from the drop down list and you are good to go. Once in the sim, looking down at the FMC, first thing you want to do is calibrate your controls. Within the FMC, there are three items to calibrate, throttles, controls, and flaps. The FMC will guide you through this setup process. Just move your controls through the various inputs to get the items set up. For the throttles, there is an option to set up a sensitivity zone. It defaults to 2%. Effectively, this means for the various thrust settings in the Airbus, toga, flex, climb, how wide is the sensitivity for engaging that setting? I personally found that 2% was too low and I changed mine to 5%. Control sensitivity, I didn't touch, but you can if you want to. Flap calibration, I did have to change as I use an axis for my flap inputs. Walking through the steps on the FMC was super simple though, and after that was done, everything worked great. Lastly, you are going to want to connect your SimBrief username in the FMC. This will allow automatic upload of your flight plans into the FMC. I will not be walking you through how to configure the electronic flight bag or EFB in this setup tutorial, as that has already been covered in another video by FSC Elite. So that will do it for this setup video for the Phoenix A320. I hope you got something out of it. Happy flying.